All right, what is up, Blue Shirt Squad? Master Overlord Green Shirt here today, giving you guys the finest in OCG metagame technology. This week, we're going to be analyzing, well, Spirals are going to be in the mix. They'll probably be the second deck profile you see here. We've got Dark Lords for you guys, and we have a Vendred, Revendred, whatever the hell they are, zombie deck profile for you guys. So, if you guys are on the Blue Shirt Squad, you guys, you guys know what to do. You know, take that like button, like this video, tell me you want more OCG Thursday, and we will continue to deliver. You know, this segment has been a staple segment on this channel for, whew, last four to five months, along with Market Watch Fridays, which are, honestly, my favorite day of the week. I definitely love doing the market more than I, I love analyzing the OCG metagame. But the OCG is a very phenomenal place. And as I've always said before, and I will continue to say it as we go through the channel, there will be a lot of things that you're going to look at the OCG and you're going to be like, wow, like their metagame is nothing like ours. This is all for deck ideas. Innovation, 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 as we all know. So... Uh, first up, we have a Dark Lord deck. Um, we'll, we'll talk about this here in a second. Torch Lord Christia, 2 BLS, uh, triple Ixchel, 2 Nasty, of course, triple Superbia, 1 Ukubak, 1 Zerato, of course, 2 Gamma Seal, 1 Light Darkness Dragon, 2 Maxi, triple Little Chair, and then triple Sovereignty. And then down here we have 1 Vanity's Fiend, uh, triple Banish from the Dark Lords, triple Contract, of course, one Soul Charge, triple Trade-In, very interesting. One Rebellion, and then, I wish we could play, two Radicator Epidemic Virus, and one Vanity's Emptiness. And then down here in the extra deck, we have Felgrand, of course, Ouroboros, Tachyon Dragon, Hope Harbinger, the Utopia Package is, uh, Diabolus the Mind Hacker, 95, Antiopian, Utopia Lightning, Gustav Max, Thunder End Dragon, Proxy Dragon, Topological Bomber, and Vera Load. So, a few things I wanted to talk about here. Light and Darkness Dragon. I feel like if your opponent doesn't have a Kaiju answer in the main deck game one, this is probably going to blow your opponent out. And I've, I've had differing opinions on this card, to be honest with you. I, I'm... I mean, it takes two tributes for this thing, but I mean, if you resolve it and probably put you in a good position, I mean, you're just going to be able to revive potentially one of your blowout Dark, World, or Dark Lord cards. So, I, I like it for for that potential ability. Um, stick Chair is actually a pretty nice combo addition to the deck. I mean, your win con's probably going to be BLS or Archlord Christia, depending. Um, and this deck is also abusing uh, the Mind Hacker, which is actually pretty cool. Outside of that, I mean, this is pretty standard for Dark Lord OTK. You're just going to try to gather up as much of your resource pool as you can. Uh, you're going to drop, draw, drop, draw. I mean, you have your typical draw package. If you resolve Soul Charge, you're probably going to win the game. It's it's unfortunately kind of how this deck goes, but it's it's still kind of cool to see like the tech choices and the evolution of this. I, I'm not particularly sure I would go for the Light and Darkness Dragon in the main, but nonetheless, it's another potential combo. Well, it's not really a combo card. It's another card you can drop on your opponent. Your opponent will be like, what's that do? And you'll know once it dies, you'll be able to just essentially fill into your other combo piece. So, eh, no side deck to report. Um, outside of that, I'd consider that pretty standard. All right, upwards and onwards, as they always say. Spirals. So you guys need to understand that there are like eighty thousand fucking spiral decks in the OCG right now. This deck is literally the nuts there. Um, and it's all because of our good friend, Two Spiral Agent Guy. Double Helix. This card's name becomes Spiral Super Agent while it is in the field of the graveyard. You can declare one card name, reveal the top card of your opponent's deck. If the declared card is a sp is the declared type, you can special summon a spiral at this guy's link point. So you can literally almost lock your opponent out of their shit with the extra link. Th th what this deck does. And the combos that this deck does is oh so disgusting. So, main deck here. Triple Ash Blossom. One Destriato, the Dread Drake of the Dread. Um, we'll explain that in a little bit here. I actually was confused about this too. Triple Ghost Reaper. Triple Drone. And then of course we have one Last Resort. One Master Plan. Triple Quick Fix. 
one sleeper, and triple super agent. Uh, spells here, two double summon, one dragon ravine, one foolish braille, one feather Duster, triple machine dupes, one for one pseudo space, triple set rotation, two big red, and triple spiral resort. Along with two terraforming and one twin twister. Traps, we have one utility wire and two rescue. Extra deck, uh, dragon buster, dark law, ancient fairy, dang doodle, two dolaham, one code talker, pretty basic, one decode talker, one firewall, one link reba, two proxy dragons, two double helix, and one trigate wizard. Side deck, one dd crow, triple ghost o or two ghost ogi, triple max c, triple skullmeister, one tough, Triple Cosmic and two Twin Twisters. Woo! Alright, so we need to come up here and drag our attention to Destriado. So this thing's actually a tuner. If it's in your graveyard, pay half your life points, then target one level six lower monster you control. So I'll summon this card, but reduce its level by the level of the targeted monster. So you can bring this thing back as a level 3 tuner. Basically, you're going to be using this to make Ancient Fairy Dragon. The really cool thing about this is, I mean, you just drop it off of the Dragon Ravine to set up for your initial combo ability. That's why we're playing Dragon Ravine. I mean, sure, one target, but hey, you know, if it's in your graveyard, pay half life points. We never cared. We never cared to set up the near and unbreakable board, and that's kind of one of the things we're doing with what this guy brings to the table. Um, it's very important to keep that in mind. Outside of that, hashtag just spiral things. Uh, we're just doing machine dupe. Uh, keep in mind, most builds are only playing two to th two to one car. The fact that car is a hard once per turn actually makes it a little bit less desirable in the main deck. I'm also very interested to see uh, the inclusion of pseudo space, which is actually something I didn't expect. But I mean, if you're doubling up on what you need for your overall field spells um, and just the overall explosiveness that you get from <laughs> shit like resort. Uh, you have no reason not to want to double up on this, especially if you need to mess up something with set rotation uh, when you're trying to get your field spell set up. It's definitely something to keep in mind. Outside of that, just hashtag spiral things. Definitely like the main deck cherries. We've been seeing a lot of main deck cherries this week um, just because we don't want double helix. We don't want like this trash resolving because it, it gives us a bad time. So I'm definitely expecting to see more of that. All right, then the last deck we got this week, woohoo, chugga chugga chugga, Vendred Shirinui, uh, or Revendred, whatever the hell these things are. All right, so we have one Armageddon Knight, triple Ash Blossom, one Dijin, triple Ghost Reaper Winter Cherries, triple Maxi, two Mizugi, one Shirinui Smith, triple Solitaire, of course, one Spectral Sword, one Spirit Master, triple Unizombie, triple Hound Horde, uh, two Slayer, of course. Two Cosmics, one Foolish Barrel, one Monster Reborn, one Desires, triple Pre-Prep, triple of the Origin, one Zombie World, and two Shirinui Slash. Extra deck, one Dragon Buster, one Fairy Dragon, Zombie Skull, BLs, Black Rose, Moonlight, Crystal Wing, Ding Doodle, Omega, Scarlight, Shirinui Shogun Saga, of course, Dire Wolf, Excite Knight, Akashic, and Double Helix. Once again, we are seeing main deck Ghost Reapers, just because we need to control the metagame. So ridiculous. And this is also the only list that we've seen do well for Revendred. Uh, the TCG was... We were... We need more for this deck. The OCG makes do for what they actually have. Mm -mm. TCG is not about that life. Um, I've, I've actually, it's actually amazing that we've seen Revendred top before the FAs. But, I mean, that was to be really expected. Um, outside of that, I mean, let's be real. Any deck that can just Dijin lock the opponent, there's a reason why this card is banned in... The TCG, and it's it's very sad to say that, but no, it is what it is. So, guys, there's not much I got to really say about this particular deck profile. Um, I know a few of you guys last week were like, "Hey, can we see some new stuff?" And a couple weeks ago, we had someone request Dark Lords. I, I'm keeping an eye out for your generic uh, needs for weirder decks, and as I see them, I will try to grab them for you guys and just be like, "Hey, check this out." You know, this looks really spicy, or you know, "Hey, check this out." But guys. As the blue shirt squad, please leave me a like. You know, do it, do it for the family, do it for me, do it for everything that we stand for here. You know, we're part of the blue shirt mafia. We're definitely we're doing our best. You know, we gotta we gotta keep mom and pa impressed. You know, channel channels doing the best best it's ever done. So guys, turn on those notifications. Get ready for that ass pounding segment tomorrow. Actually, 
Uh, it will be Market Watch Friday, and even though we did one Monday this week, forgive me, forgive me, I won't do it more than once every week, I promise, but some interesting things are happening, so trying to keep tabs on them as we're going. So guys, remember, like this video, leave a comment down below, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's segment of what is this tier 4 deck doing in the OCG? <laughs> Just kidding, spirals all the way. Peace out guys. The ride never ends, guys. Make sure you enable those notifications to get the latest videos that are being posted on this channel. Make sure you guys check out Van Cole 40 for my Cardfight Vanguard channel. And join me and House of Champions on the Zodiac Duelist TV Twitch stream. I will be interacting with our audiences. And please check out No Limit Gaming and LGTCG.com for the cheapest trading cards on the market. Thanks for watching, guys, and please have a good day.